If you find yourself getting tripped up by probability problems, you are not alone. Today's video is gonna show you some strategies on how to solve at least versus at most problems. Let's take a look at this problem as an example. You have a container with two blue cubes and three green cubes. You reach in and pull out a cube, record the color, and then replace it in the container. You repeat this procedure for two additional cubes so that you have pulled a total of three cubes from the container. What is the probability that you will pull at least two blue cubes? The first thing we need to think about is what's the difference between at least versus at most? If I say you can have at least one cookie, what are the possibilities? So you could have one cookie, but you could also have seven cookies, 12 cookies, 20 cookies, now we're talking. If I say you can have at most one cookie, then are you allowed to have two cookies? No, at most you can have one cookie. So your only options is really having one, but are you allowed to have no cookies if I say you are allowed to have at most one cookie? Yeah, you could have zero cookies, right? So you have to think about these problems in terms of what are the possibilities in which, I call this in which you could win, right? If somebody was saying, what's the probability of pulling out at least two blue cubes? Let's think about what are all the possibilities that we could win. So if we say at least two blue cubes, I know that one possibility is I could have a blue, 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 right? At least two blue cubes. So I'm still winning if I get three. Okay, let's think about another possibility. I could also just get two blue cubes, right? So I could get blue, blue, and then green. If I'm thinking about pulling these out one after the other, I could also think about green, blue, blue, right? If I get a green first and then two blues, that would also work. The last scenario that I could get would be if I got a blue, then a green, then a blue. The next step I have to do for this problem is I have to figure out the probabilities for each scenario. I'm trying to find that probability of pulling at least two blue cubes. Because these are independent events, right? I'm putting the cube back in before I pull the next cube. I'm going to be multiplying three different probabilities here in order to find the whole probability for this one scenario. So you can see I've got my cubes here and I've got two blue cubes out of five. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that my probability for drawing the first blue cube is two fifths. Now, again, I put it back in, my probability for the next blue cube is going to be also two fifths. My probability for my third blue cube is also two fifths. Next, I'm gonna go to my blue, blue, green. So again, I have two fifths, and I'm gonna be adding these together. So two fifths times two fifths, and then if I look at my green, I can see that I have three out of five, so times three fifths. Now I'm gonna go down here to my green, blue, blue. I have three fifths times two fifths times two fifths. Again, I'm gonna be adding these. And then lastly, I've got my situation of a blue, two fifths times my green, which is three fifths times my blue, which is also two fifths. You can see that I'm going to find the probability for getting a blue, 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 which is going to be eight, 120 fifths, okay, five times five times five would be 125, two times two times two or two cubed would be eight. I'm gonna be adding that to two times two times three which is going to be 12, and again, five times five times five over 125, so 12 120 fifths. And then next, I'm gonna do three times two times two which is going to give me 12 120 fifths. And then I have two times three times two, which is going to also give me 12 120 fifths. So I'm gonna be adding all of these probabilities here, my situational probabilities. So I have eight 120 fifths, 12 120 fifths, 12 120 fifths, and another 12 120 fifths. When I add these all together, you can see that I have the exact same common denominator, so that's awesome. Three groups of 12 I see, which is 36, plus an additional eight would give me 44 120 fifths. My probability for getting at least two blue cubes would be 44 120 fifths. Okay, so let's recap for a moment and kind of think through how we solve this problem. The first thing we needed to do is we needed to list the potential outcomes where we're going to 
when or where we get those desired outcomes, in this case, at least two blue cubes. Once I've got my, in this case, four outcomes that I would win, or these are my desired outcomes of at least two blue, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the probabilities for each scenario, and then I'm going to be adding these together. Because remember, the total probability for me winning, or my desired outcome of at least two blue cubes, is going to be these added together. Don't forget, because these are three individual cubes that you are pulling out, you're gonna be multiplying the probabilities for each scenario together. Let's